Welcome back everyone, so I've shown you guys my 335 Titan as of the April update, so in this video I'll be going over the gear and weapons that I use for my 335 Hunter. So starting off with my subclass, I pretty much always use Gunslinger for PvP and Night Stalker for PvE. I never use Blade Dancer, I think the last time I used Blade Dancer may have been before the Taken King, maybe even back during the Crotazen raid. Gunslinger has just always been my preferred subclass for PvP, because it allows you to pick off three instant kills from a safe distance, and I also really like being able to place trip mines everywhere. They're just fun to use. Whereas the Night Stalker is kind of the obvious choice for most PvE activities now, due to the orb generating capabilities and the increased DPS on bosses. I do want to try using the Night Stalker more in PvP and get better with it, but I just can't get used to it. I, I always forget to use my Shade Step or end up wasting my super, so I would like to spend some more time with it and properly learn how to use the Night Stalker in the Crucible. Because I've seen some clips of people doing crazy stuff with the Night Stalker, and it's just one of those subclasses that, if you know how to use and are able to master, then you can pull off some incredible stuff with it. Anyway, moving on to my weapons now, nothing really too much is different from my last video, I pretty much used all the same weapons across all three characters, although I do tend to swap my primary weapon quite often, depending on the situation or which crucible map I'm playing on. Like recently I've been using the Red Death a lot more, it's actually still a pretty decent gun, despite the pulse rifle nerf. The Jade Rabbit I've been using quite a lot as well, I really like this weapon because of its impact, the Jade Rabbit just hits like a truck, and most kills are a minimum 3 shot kill. I also recently got these two auto rifles from the Crucible. This is the Red Spectre, which is supposed to be a prototype of the Red Death, and the Grim Citizen, which I also really like. I'll probably make a video on these two weapons at some point, going more in depth. For my special weapon, this hasn't changed at all. I pretty much only use my 1000 yard stairs, and I don't have any other good snipers. I would like a longbow, but Lord Shax just refuses to give me anything other than useless armor. I just like to keep both these snipers around for the different elements. One is Arc and the other one is Solar. And they also have different perks. Both of them have triple tap, but my Arc sniper has hidden hand, which is good for PvP. And my Solar one has Mulligan, which is good for PvE because it means less wasted ammo. I'm not really a fan of shotguns, I've kind of always been more of a sniper guy, and I just don't like the shotgun playstyle. Although I do have this one shotgun here, Burden of Proof. And I'm not really sure if this is any good or not, it does have a rangefinder which is always good for a shotgun, as well as reinforced barrel which is also really good, you want as much range as possible on a shotgun, and it also has performance bonus for more ammo. So it might be a decent shotgun for PvE, but I don't know how well it would do in the Crucible, considering it has more of a high rate of fire, low impact. And for my heavy weapon, nothing again here has changed either. I really like using my variable future war cult machine gun in the Crucible. It's got a really nice roll. It has counterbalance, perfect balance, and rangefinder. So it's really stable for a high rate of fire machine gun. For almost all PvE activities, I like to use Sleeper Simulants and the Raze Lighter. I really think the exotic swords are some of the most powerful weapons in the game. They just rip through anything and do ridiculous amounts of damage to bosses. Moving on now, let's take a look at my armour. Now I will say my stat rolls aren't quite perfect just yet, I'm just waiting till I get some more gear with intellect and discipline so I can replace my current gear. So starting off with the helmet, I'm currently using the Warden Sight, this is the year 2 Challenge of Elders helmet, and it's kind of the only good helmet I've got right now, other than my Iron Banner helmet, but that one isn't 335, and I don't even use any of my exotic helmets. This Spectre Asprey helmet I keep around just because it actually looks quite cool, I like it, so I might just infuse it to 335 unless I can get an Intellect Discipline roll, and this is the updated Trials helmet from the Pariah armor set, which drops at the Lighthouse. For my gauntlets, I really like using the Young Ahamkara's Spine, that way I can run around with double trip mines, which is really useful and really fun in PvP for setting traps everywhere. Plus the gauntlets just look really cool with the skull and bones running along the arm. They're still some of my favourite looking gauntlets in the game. Then I just have these other gauntlets that I don't really use. This one's actually really cool as well. These gauntlets come from the lighthouse chest and actually have chroma effects on them, which cause them to have this glowing Eye of Osiris, which I really like. The same applies to the other class's gauntlets. It's the only piece in the Pariah set to have a chroma effect, and I wish the whole set could glow as well because I think it looks really cool with this glowing eye on them. 
I think it would actually look quite awesome if the class items had a big glowing eye on them as well. For my chest piece, I'm just using the trials chest since it's the only 335 chest I have right now, since the game just doesn't want to give me any exotic chest engrams to infuse into my other chest pieces, but I will sometimes switch to my 328 crest of Alpha Lupite if I need to and say trials, and I would like to infuse this Neurogast chest piece to 335 as well. I think this looks quite cool, and this is part of the PlayStation exclusive armor set that came with the Taken King, just in case any of you aren't aware. Then for my boots, I'm pretty much stuck with these raid boots for now, none of my other boots have any good rules. None of my legendary ones have intellect, discipline or sniper ammo, other than my raid boots which are almost perfect. All my other boots have strength. Plus the burns on one leg do happen to match really nicely with my gauntlets. For my cloak, I'm wearing the Cloudwalker Tributes. This one is one of the cloaks you can pick up from the speaker and it just goes really well with my armour, at least I think so. I do have this Arc Flare Mantle Cloak, it's probably one of the most unique class items in the game. I really like this cloak and I would like the others to complete the collection, but they just never drop for me. Then I also have this Iron Banner Cloak which I infused because it increases the amount of Crucible Reputation you gain and obviously the amount of Iron Banner Rep you gain, which is going to be useful because I'm going to need it when the Iron Banner comes around, although I would like to infuse this other Iron Banner Cloak because I really like the look of the chainmail on this one. This Challenge of Elders Cloak also looks really good, I like the colour scheme of it. And finally for my artifact, I'm using the Thrall Skin Drum because it's the only thing I have right now and none of my other artifacts have Intellect Discipline, they all have Strength. So I'm waiting until I do get one with a better roll so then I can infuse this spare 335 artifact into it. As for my other stuff, I have this Intellect Discipline Iron Banner Ghost Shell, pretty standard really. The sparrow I'm using is the Timebreaker from the Vault of Glass, again nothing special. My ship is the Atlanta's Hunt, just because it's absurdly huge and just looks really funny. It's pretty much the only reason I use it. The shader I'm using is a Dead Orbit shader called Bitter Steel, and lastly my emblem is the Bungie Bounty Emblem. So that is it for my Hunter, next time will be Warlock whenever I get around to making a video on that. I actually got my Hunter and Warlock to 335 a few weeks ago, but I didn't really have time to make a video on them at the time. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next time.